Trevor J. Gray, superstar gymnast <laughs> and, uh, and one of my closest friends. I think she's awesome. Um, we're going to help her with her low back. Smash works, you know the routine. This is what we're going to do. I'm at CSA. And we got uh, Games Athlete behind doing the filming today. We got <laughs> Jessica. Um, she's been having some issues with her low back and for a really long time. She's got some disc deterioration. And since she does some really gnarly gymnastic stuff, um, she's got lots of strain and lots of pressure on her spine. So we're going to go ahead and loosen up some of the tissue and get her working a little while so she can go over there and completely destroy herself on her rower and uh, on an assault bike. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put her into uh, what I call pelvic balance. So we have her wrap the, uh, the band around. We have to use a little bit of a shorter band on her because she's uh, five feet tall. So we have a big knot in the band. So she's gonna put the band around the knees like that. And she's gonna get, you can see that? And then we're gonna have her go up against the wall. First thing we're gonna do is just have her feet super flat. We've done this before, you guys have seen this before. I've done it a lot. All we're doing is we're checking to make sure that there's some room under here. There's no room under here actually. What she's doing, she's sucking her stomach. You can see through the abs, she's sucking her stomach down into her spine and basically holding a really tight position. She's not making a pain face. I dig that, but you ready for this? Here's the fun part. She's already like, I know what this is because we tested this out. So right side is the side that's giving her a hard time. Left side's not so bad, but the problem is it's, it's an imbalance. So when she drops into a squat, I had her drop into a squat right over here beforehand, right side was turning out. So we want to clear that out really fast. So we're going to do this. We're going to take care of the psoas and we're going to go through both sides and she's smiling like, this is going to suck but it's some really good mobility. So we take this, put it on that hot spot. So I'm gonna use me as an example. We're gonna put it right in here. So top of the crest, the iliac crest is right here. We're gonna go right in here, just above that where the quadratus laborum is, that QL, and all that nasty spinal tissue there that kind of glues itself to, to everything. We need it to free up because do we use posterior chain and just about everything we do in CrossFit? Pretty much, and when you're a gymnast, uh, even more so. So she's gonna take this, we're gonna tuck it in right here. So that's, the start. Now she's gonna take this leg and she's gonna cross it over here. Fuck. Yeah. So that's how gnarly it is. And all she's gonna do is she's just gonna grind away on it. Now I'm gonna help her out. So I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put it in here. Of course. And I'm gonna lean on here. This is what this is what being an awesome friend is. This is what you do, is you just kinda of get on here and you manhandle your friend. Oh. And you just grind away. And she's like, this is so awful. I mean, this is catastrophic, isn't it? <laughs> she just wants to swear at me nonstop right now. She's not going to because she's awesome and she loves me, but she wants to, I can tell. We're just going to grind away. And we're going to do this until she says, okay, I can feel it changing. Usually it takes about 30 to 40 seconds. Oh, that's a long time. It's a long time to maintain this, right? Yeah. So we're just grinding away, just grinding away. What you want that tissue to do is soften up because it's stuck to all the tissue around it. And as a matter of fact, Jessica knows exactly what I'm talking about too because it happens to her and me. And we got two Jessicas, I just realized. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it takes me a little while to get this stuff figured out. So listen, I'm good at tissue stuff. I'm great with neurological stuff. Names, not so good. All right, so we're gonna take her out of this just for a second because right now she's going, oh God, it's so horrible. That's number one. We're gonna have a crossover at the other side because do we want symmetry? Yes. Always. So we check the other side, but she won't make the pain face nearly as bad on this side, I guarantee it. Not even close, right? No. So what's happening is the pelvis, if this is the front of the pelvis, I'm gonna leave her here, so I don't even need to climb around on her right now. If you look at the pelvis like this, this is the front, there's something called the pubic symphysis, it's a little disc, and the pelvis shears around that disc. And the problem is all the muscles in the back bind up, the psoas in the front, which is designed to stabilize the spine and connect to the pelvis, that binds up, but it binds up unevenly, so she's got this shear. So we're gonna clear that out too. So you can see this side's totally different than the other side, right? Super different. So I'm gonna take this out. There's one. We're gonna have her come out of this. All the way. Oh man, that was really tight. That was a lot tighter than I thought. <laughs> She's gonna lay on her back with her feet towards me and her head that way. Knees bent, you got it. We're gonna take her feet, we're gonna bring them up like this. We're gonna bring her knees up. This is so cool because you guys can do this at home. I'm gonna push here and pull here, you're gonna resist me. Push, 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 push. Good, we're gonna do the same thing this side. Push, 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 push. We do this about four or five times. We're gonna do this again this side. Hard, everything you got, everything you got. Good, just don't launch me through the wall. Do it again. Push. Yeah, please don't do that, that would be just brutal. Good, we're gonna put these together. I'm gonna put my fist between the knees. A little more, a little more, a little more. Squeeze, squeeze, hard, squeeze, clunk. It's gnarly, right? Yeah. Good. So what that does, it takes the shear out of the pelvis. Normally I'd have her use this, just throw this in behind there. Go ahead. So we're, this will go on either side of the spine. Go ahead. There. Feel that? Yeah. 
Yeah. So gnarly. Then you get a friend come out and oh. do this. What? Oh, she's like, what are you doing? And then you just get on. Just start moving around. You're such a good friend. Isn't it great? You're so this is great. This is being a true friend, by the way. This is what you do. Grind away on this. Again, about 30, 40 seconds till you make the change. Come on out. And here's the last one she's going to do. Oh, the fun one. Oh, this is... Oh, man. So if you notice, you heard that on the video. You heard that. All you millions of people heard that. <laughs> she's done it. It's the fun one. You're going to take the kettlebell. We're going to flip it upside down because the psoas, if you watch, watch your face. Check this out. So we're going to go to the belly button. We're going to go inch to the side. And I'm going to just take my hand and I'm going to get in here. See that? You just want to block that. It's terrible. But this is the good side. And then we get over here. And I'm not even pushing nearly as hard and she's holding her breath. There's a lot of ab here fighting me. Like I'm pushing with a lot and she's just going, I'm not going to let you take it. We're going to take the corner of this. We're going to flip it upside down. And right now, two guys are watching this going, that looks so horrible. And she's going to hold the kettlebell. You got it? You got it? Yep. All right. And then she's going to take her leg. And since the femur doesn't track this way, it tracks out. She's going to bring her leg up like this and then kick it straight out. She's going to do that 15 times. So you're going to do it. And you're going to count. So we're at two. Good. And the reason we're doing this is because the psoas is so strong. It's a hip flexor. And like I said, it binds up and it holds the, um, the spine in place, stabilizes the spine when we do all this stuff, especially for a gymnast. That um, this is going to loosen up that psoas and take a lot of that pressure off that low back so the low back can move the way it's supposed to. This is really bad. It's so horrible, isn't it? It's so bad. It's just awesome. This is mobility. Now, just so you guys know, when I walked in, she walked right up to me and said, okay, two things. <laughs> and one of them was, my low back hurts. I need you, Trev, to fix it. So this is what we're doing. So this is completely voluntary. Yeah. Who's counting? Good. That's 15. Good. <laughs> I think. So now normally we do both sides, but for the sake of making this a really short video, come on up. And get a little wide. Okay. Is that wide? Yeah. Okay. Now drop into a squat and tell me how you feel. Yep. Oh, that's better. Holy shit. Right? Normal reaction. Holy ass. Wow. Sick, right? That's cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, because before I was like this. Yeah, and you were like, it hurts, it's so tight. Yeah, now. Oh, Listen, man. you guys, that's how it's done. You just got to do a little more of it. Trevor, Jay Gray, Smashworks. Yay, awesome. Thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.